Blend is an online collaborative community of music makers, and it's the keystone to how you will engage with this course. Blend creates a folder on your computer. When you save your music projects into it, it will securely back them up into the cloud while making it easy for you to share your sessions with other music makers across the globe. We're going to use this very powerful tool to share our work with each other and create a massive collaboration between Seaboard users. In a way, we'll be constructing a sonic quilt, which blankets the entire planet. Each of us is an individual panel. Equator and the Seaboard provides us with the raw materials, and Blend is the thread which connects all the panels together. First things first, join the Blend community by going to blend.io and clicking sign up. Create your profile and click around the site to acquaint yourself. Here's my profile. You can find a lot of interesting info about what I typically use, where I'm from, etc. Let's click on one of my projects to find out even more. There's a player on the top where I can play back this file. I can like, share, and this will be a poll button so that you can pull the session onto your computer as well as add it to a playlist. On the left-hand side, you'll find detailed information about the session itself. You can see over here file size, tempo, number of tracks, and types of tracks, how far along I am, and also any plugins that I've used. When you upload your session to the Blend folder on your computer, it extracts this info and displays it here on the project. In order to connect Blend to your computer, follow the directions in the link in the description on how to get set up. One of my favorite things about Blend is the commentary associated with each session. I've run multiple remix initiatives on the platform and I was able to go back and forth with people as they were working on my sessions, giving them advice and feedback, which made the end result so much stronger. Blend is not only a place to collaborate and share, it's also a place to learn and engage with the community, which can be a very powerful thing. For this course, we're gonna use Blend to begin and submit our assignments. Follow the link in the description to navigate to the course page, which I have pulled up here. Each playlist has six different projects for you to choose from. Once you've decided which session you wanna work in, pull it onto your computer using this poll button. Navigate to your Blend folder and open it up. If, like me, you're working in Bitwig, be sure to select the Use the Containing Directory as the Project Directory option when opening this project. This will ensure that the project file and samples are saved into the correct location. And the easiest and most seamless way to manage these files for the course is to make sure that you're always saving your work into the same Blend folder. Once you're done working and ready to publish, you also need to export an audio preview of your project as a file named preview.wav saved into the same project folder. You can also manually link this file later if for some reason it's been improperly named. I'm gonna quickly bounce a preview of these drum loops to show you the process. Once everything is in order, navigate to My Projects on your Blend profile and find the project that you'd like to publish. Then click Publish. It will now show up on your Blend profile for everyone to see. When you pull a session, it will already have certain tags linked to it, which you need to leave in place in order for your work to populate on other people's feeds. Feel free to add your own, but keep these as well. To find out detailed information about how to use Blend, the copyright laws associated with published projects, and much more, visit the links in the description.